Hello learners, my name is Kirti Verma from the Department of Commerce, CKT College. Today, I am going to introduce about the main activities involved in e-commerce. So, main activity, what is e-commerce? E-commerce means electronic buying of goods and services over the internet. That is e-commerce, electronic commerce, that is online marketing, online shopping, e-business, electronic business. So, this all are the vice versa relating to the e-commerce. So, what are the main activities involved in e-commerce? The first is information sharing. Then we have registration, order placement and processing, processing of payment, shipment, delivery, e-services and shipment, feedback, customer review, advertising and sales promotion, etc. So, this all are the main activities of e-commerce. So, first is information sharing. E-commerce sellers use some or the following applications or a technologies to share information from one computer to another, from one device to another over the internet. So, your information sharing is very vital part in case of e-commerce. Uh, nowadays, due to electronic data interchange, we are uh, easily available for sharing of the electronic information, for sharing of the vital information through an electronic means. So now, online advertisement, email discussion groups, company websites, online catalogs, messages, board system, bulletin board system, multi-party conference can be done through an online mode. Next, we have registration. Registration is a very vital in case of e-commerce. Registration is required in case of platform in case of any of the applications to run in your device. So, first time users of the e-commerce need to register in an online e-commerce site for the purchase of a product. Personal details like location, password, OTP, your name, uh, your payment address, your shipment address, etc. is required in case of registration. So, OTP is also considered as one of the necessary steps for maintaining security of the data for an online transaction. Next, we have third activity as an order placement and processing. Here, your order is placed and the processing of data was carried out through an e-commerce. Customers can buy a number of items through a shopping cart. Shopping cart is like a trolley to a shopping mall. Customers can add webs can add or delete their product according to their taste, according to their preference, likes and dislikes. So, in order to check out their product, they require some of the vital information to be filled by the customers in case of order placement and processing of the goods at your doorstep. So, this is one of the more major activity regarding to the order placement and processing of the e-commerce. Next, we have proce payment processing system. This is also a main, uh, main activity. Now, various methods are, are involved in case of e-commerce shopping like is cash on delivery, net banking transfer that is NEFT or RTGS, credit card and debit card. Plastics monies are also used in case of processing of payment in e-commerce. And we have digital cash like electronic currency also that exists in the cyber space in case of payment processing. Next, we have shipment. Shipment is the process of delivery of goods from the logistic department to your actual door state. The ordered product is shipped at the address of the customers as specified during the time of the online purchase. So, most of the online shopping sites provide shipment, free shipment, yeah, free delivery to their customers in order to uh, encourage the purchase from the customer. So, customers can also easily track the delivery through virtual sites by delivery tracking system. For example, you can place the order and you can just see whether whether the product is scheduled on which date it delivery has been scheduled or where my product has been reached, whether the, whether the product has, is ready to dispatch or not. So, this is also an activity which are, which are available in case of e-commerce. Next, we have delivery. The company delivers goods at the address of the customer's residence. Customers have to uh, customers have to register their present address, the current address, and the location and the particular time for the delivery of the product. An e-receipt is generated while payment of goods through an online virtual mode, and then cash payment or a digital payment is occurred. 
the e-commerce firm takes delivery uh, from its own or otherwise they outsource the activity that is that is the logistic department handles the uh, part of the delivery of the products from one place to another next we have service and support here customers customers are easily assessed to the services like after sale service and support from the e-commerce website holders even e-business also provides this facility so it makes sense to retain current customers to attract and to attract new customers e-business firm provide timely high quality of goods and services and after sale service to their customers this also increase the loyalty benefits to the customers then we have feedback what is feedback feedback is a solicited form of survey solicited means already pre structured questionnaire is built to take survey from the respondents so seller may ask for the online feedback from the customers relating to the product performance and customer satisfaction and other details so buyer has to fill the feedback form or otherwise in an unsolicited way that is like star ratings or reviews is been posted by the customers for the e-commerce website holders then we have customer reviews what is customer reviews customer review is an unsolicited way of feedback unsolicited means actual expression is exp actual expression is presented by the customers to the website holders they can give their ratings according to their preference according to their perception to the product so e-commerce receives a type of unsolicited feedback which is gathered on a virtual or an offline mode so even even in offline mode also then customers review provide benefits like review attract customers to the seller website education educate the customers build customer trust and confidence improve product and build marketing strategy then we have last advertising that is advertising and sales promotion here e-commerce give platforms to provide opportunities for e-sellers and to advertise and promote their products your effective advertising promotion of the product is carried out in case of e-commerce activity thank you learners